Welcome back toy collector friends and Transformers fans alike and welcome to today's offering which is the Studio Series 8608 Nor from Transformers the movie. Um, this is a relatively new release uh, just, just in um, from In Demand Toys into my inbox uh, or post box, slightly more less technological. Um, very excited to receive this. You may have seen my uh, pre unboxing initial reactions video. This is now my unboxing initial reactions video uh, of Nor. Nor is a deluxe class figure all the way from 1986 uh, with the standard deluxe class figure packaging, um, which I have already gone through in the other video. There are the product shots on the reverse. Um, some fantastic Nor artwork there on the side, and of course the main event uh, on the inside. So Nor was one of those characters that appeared in the Transformers, the movie, the animated feature film of uh, 1986, um, set in the far-flung future of the time of, I think, believe it was 2005 or 2006. Wow. Um, and the Shark Decons served the uh, evil Quintesson Masters uh, on the planet Quintessa and got busy chewing up uh, anyone that the Quintesson judges threw into the pit of judgment, um, as you do. This is a piece that is very reminiscent of a toy I never had back in the day um, when I was very lucky enough to pick up my Generation 1 Trypticon, uh, which I found for sale uh, in a marketplace, um, in a flea market, you, you might call it, um, in uh, a little village uh, in East Anglia in the UK. Um, I had the first sight of the figure of Nor because he, the that was the generation version of Nor, because he featured as a toy on the insert from um, the, the box, you know, the insert that gives us all of the list of available Transformers in that wave that's currently uh, available to purchase. And there was Nor uh, sitting there. And I thought, oh, that's exciting. And of course, he was one of the figures that never made it over, um, at least through legit means, to, to the UK marketplace. Anyway, that's enough context. You can understand, therefore, why I'm very excited to get this chap uh, in hand. Um, I've done the nasty initial severing of the tape to avoid all of the pain and trauma that goes with that. So I'm now moving into that phase, which is the great unboxing. Now, beautiful thing, uh, beautiful feature. So that's the, there's the instructions and the what to do, what not to do. Don't eat the very small plastic parts as you'll choke and die, get rid of that. Um, what I like about the Studio 86 range uh, as I've mentioned elsewhere, is that you do come, it does come with a Studio 86 range uh, display piece. Let me pop it slightly on an angle to avoid glare. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's a little cardboard diorama, but let's be honest, um, I'm always happy for small mercies and I quite like this. I quite like this notion that we've got, a, it, there's, an, there's an appreciation within, the, within Hasbro in the production of these figures that actually, there's a percentage of buyers, I would suggest it might be quite a large percentage of buyers, who aren't buying these for play, uh, who aren't buying these for their children, who are in fact buying these spoilers for themselves. Goodness me, just imagine. Um, and I think it's great that they now therefore incorporate some collectible display diorama. Uh, so that's, that's that. Then we have uh, the main the main thing itself. So here is Nor. As I mentioned, Nor is a deluxe class figure. So he's one of the slightly smaller figures. He has some uh, accoutrement in there. So there's his gun. There's his fin. There's his uh, tail, which looks also like a bit of a nasty ball on a chain. Um, some kind of backpack arrangement, which uh, alas looks like it contains his head. Uh, which means he may be a bit of a panel former. Um, his little head's poking down, so let's see if I can lift it up a little bit. Possibly the plastic's getting in the way of that. Um, but yeah, so this initially, um, yeah, it's a cute little figure. I quite like the Alicon, so I'm hoping um, that the Alicon will uh, go 
a long way to supporting and augmenting the uh, the presence of, of Nor. Um, I'm now going to pause slightly to uh, remove him from his binds here, so we can get Nor free of free of these ties, and we'll see what he looks like in the wild. So don't touch that dial. Okay, so thank you for sitting comfortably, and uh, here we see Nor in all of his Sharkticon goodness. I'm not sure goodness is the right word. So I've kitted him out with his uh, sort of ball and chain tail, his blaster here, and his backpack, which was tremendously easy to slide on. No complications there whatsoever. And this is a great display piece. I mean, he's great here. Um, I'm not gonna transform him just yet. I will do a full review video um, nearer the, nearer, well, in the, little, in the near future. Uh, I'll just put my teeth in. Um, but as in terms of what this is, which is an initial reaction video, yeah, this is a he's, he's a he's a cute little dumpy figure. I mean, he's a dumpy little guy that does exactly what he's supposed to do. He stands there being a shark to con guard, um, leading the shark to con armies under the uh, under the pit of judgment for them. Um, he does have some uh, relatively uh, straightforward articulation. I'm not a big fan of these arms hanging out here. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I wasn't so fan, such a big fan of that like, beast related transformers because it's very hard to hide some of those. Um, I think the Dinobots do it well both then and now. But uh, anyway, let's uh, look more slightly more at the figure. My initial reaction in terms of the figure, posability, very, very nice. Uh, certainly a bit of a parts former scenario with that backpack. Um, the accessories are nice. There might be a way I can I can experiment to hide these arms somewhere and we'll see. Um, Leg articulation is pretty much as you might expect. There's some uh, additional toe and ankle. There is an ankle thing, but it's a bit kind of yucky because there's no, there's no infill, but uh, there is heel and toe articulation. Um, and yeah, he's a, he's a little bit of a threatening thing. You would like to see that coming at you. I don't think there's any amount of um, universal greeting that's gonna calm this guy down. Although he's more than happy to munch on your energon, and you can interpret that however you like. Um, so yeah, my initial reactions on this figure, pre-playing with, pre-transformation, I have to say I kind of like him. Uh, and, as, and as a deluxe class figure, uh, part of the Studio 86 range, yeah, I think I think he's going to come. I think he's going to provide a lot of potential posability and playability, and I think there's going to be some terrific opportunities to. Uh, to pose him with some of the other uh, key figures from that range. I, for one, am quite taken with him. I think it's it's quite an excellent figure. So I'm give you a little bit of a zoom in so we can give him the full head to toe um, experience. And again, I think the, the display works particularly well. Uh, thank you Hasbro for giving us that as part of the studio range. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna take him away now and give him a little play with. Um, then I'm going to see what else I can do in terms of his transformation. And then, yeah, once I'm a bit more familiar with him, uh, I'll be looking at putting a review up around uh, Studio Series 8608, nor the Sharkticon, in the very near future. In the meantime, thanks for watching this. Do drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this particular figure. Are you adding Nor to your collection? Have you already done it? Have you started to be an army collector? And have you have you a master range of Sharkticons uh, to use in your war um, against whoever you're fighting as a Sharkticon? Uh, as I say, let me know in the comments below. Do subscribe if you want to see future videos where I will be doing full reviews on the figures and also on the, on, on the transformation uh, elements. Uh, I look forward to you joining me for that. If you want to subscribe, that's great. It's very easy to do. You might also want to hit the notification button so you never miss a single video. In addition to that, um, you can pop over to Instagram and see my uh, collection of toy photography over there. That's the Time Travelling Toy Collector uh, over on Instagram. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Time Travelling and you'll see me very, very clearly um, posting about the range of collectibles that keeps growing as I keep collecting. Uh, if this has been of any interest to you, if it's helped you ch choose whether or not you're going to be adding Nor to your collection of Transformers toys, 
Uh, I'm thrilled um, either way, whether you've decided it's a yay or a nay. Um, but you might want to uh, reciprocate by giving me a, a bit of a juicy thumbs up and clicking the like button. And I'll thank you in advance for doing so. Anyway, this has been the Time Travelling Toy Collector. I'm now going to sign out. Uh, thank you for watching. And remember that a thing of beauty, even if it's a Sharkticon, can be a toy forever. Bye for now.